Christmas story kind of baby tent against Christmas edition. I hope David doesn't get coal for Christmas. No peeking! David is balancing on a stool on top of a chair to peek into the closet. That can be dangerous if he falls. In the closet there are jackets, shoes, and a vacuum cleaner. And on the top shelf Next to a purple lamp is a box with Christmas paper wrapped around it. David is trying to see what's inside. No snitching! David is trying to steal some cookies. He's reaching for a green Christmas tree cookie. Many families make lots of special cookies for Christmas. Some people choose one day and bake all day long. Here you can see some cookie dough. This might be vanilla extract. Here are three eggs. One, two, three. And this is flour and a flour sifter. Do you also make Christmas cookies? What's your favorite? I like to make gingerbread cookies and decorate them. Those are not toys! David is excited about Christmas, but those aren't toys that he's playing with. They're ornaments. That's why they have these silver hooks at the top, so you can hang them on the Christmas tree. This one is a sleigh attached to a blue starry ball with presents in the back. David has the Santa Claus ornament on the same hand. Next is a white horse ornament and the other two are reindeer. David is playing with one, two, three, four, five ornaments. Santa's watching, David. Uh-oh, David is running around outside without any clothes on again. At least he has boots, gloves, and a hat on. It must be cold out with all that snow on the ground. You can see that the house across the street has decorated their house for Christmas. There are lights around the windows and along the roof. They also have a wreath above the door and red garland wrapped around the pillars. They look like giant candy canes. Be patient. There is a long line to see Santa. Sometimes it can take hours before you get to tell Santa what you want for Christmas. Maybe David could count how many ornaments are on the big Christmas tree while he's waiting. Hurry up! Wow, David sure has a long list. But he also waited a long time to speak with Santa. He has more than 27 things on this side of his list. And look at the back. This number says 119. Okay, maybe David's list really is too long. Let's see if we can read some of the things he's asking for. At the top, it says bicycle, fire engine, spaceship. On the back, it says tank, parachute, Bigfoot, candy, hmm, I can't read these. Then comes cheeseburger. I can't read all of David's writing. I hope he knows what he's wishing for. Then it says a sled, baseball team, suit of armor, a Ferrari. He can't even drive yet. A lightsaber, a big dog, a rocket, and the list goes on and on. Hey everyone, today we are going to be making some Halloween avatars on the app Boop Kids. Guys, check this out, this app is so fun. Naughty list, naughty list, naughty list. Hmm, David's been peeing in the snow instead of going to the bathroom inside. 
He wrote his name this time. D A V I D. David. The dog doesn't look too happy with David. It's not nice to play in yellow snow. Santa is going to bring you a lump of coal. Uh oh, what happened here? All the kids are running away except for David. It looks like one of the snowballs broke a window. I hope David didn't throw it. Don't start yet. Seat your grandmother. No yawning at the table. That's the wrong fork. Sit up straight. Don't reach. Put your napkin in your lap. Get your elbows off the table. David is all dressed up at the dinner table. He's wearing a white button-down shirt, a blue jacket, and a red, green, and yellow bow tie. He has a nice plate of salad in front of him, but there's so many directions he has to follow. When you get dressed up for a special dinner, there are certain manners you're supposed to follow. He's supposed to wait for everyone to eat, and helping his grandmother is not only nice but polite. Yawning at the table is not good manners. You should always try to sit up straight, but reaching over other people's plates is not very nice. What if your sleeve ends up in their salad? Sometimes, when the dinner is really fancy, then you have more than one fork and spoon. It can be really confusing. No, David, you may not open one early. David is wearing his snowman pajamas. I think it might be the night before Christmas. Some families open one gift on Christmas Eve, and then the rest on Christmas Day. It looks like David's family doesn't do that. But he still has nice presents to look forward to tomorrow. And did you see how nice they decorated their Christmas tree? They used colorful lights, yellow garland, and different types of ornaments. Here's a gold star, a red bow, a blue car, and a blue and yellow bulb, and a red and white candy cane. Go to sleep, David. David is looking out the window at all the houses with their Christmas lights on. Everything looks so pretty. I bet David is too excited to go to bed and wants to wait up for Santa. No Christmas for you, David. Oh no! The Christmas tree doesn't have any more lights or ornaments. And there's a lump of coal on the floor. The note David has in his hand says, "Dear David, sorry you were naughty. Love, Santa Claus." That's so sad. Even David is crying. Do you really think that David isn't getting any presents this year? Wake up, David! You were dreaming. Oh, good! It was only a bad dream. It's Christmas morning, and it's time for presents. David even has Christmas decorations in his room. On the windowsill are snow globes. One has a gingerbread house. The one in the middle has a Christmas tree inside, and the last one is Santa riding on a reindeer. Let's go find out what David got for Christmas. Yes, David, it's Christmas. Wow, David got a lot of presents, but probably not as much as his long list. He's checking his stocking, reading a new book. He's eating Christmas cookies and candy canes. Do you remember what the first thing on David's list was? That's right, a bicycle, and that's exactly what he got. Hooray for David! And he still has more presents to open. Dear David, 
Merry Christmas. Love.